Today is Halloween, the day when people start thinking about things that go bump in the night. But what you really have to be afraid of is the things that go bump in your own mind, your own thoughts, your own consciousness, your own perceptions. Sometimes defilements take over and it's like you're being turned into a zombie. You're not following your own free will, you're following something else that doesn't have any concern about your well-being. There was that article in the National Geographic about zombie animals, where a parasite takes over another animal to do its own bidding. And it's very much the way when greed, aversion, and delusion really take over. They're not interested in anything at all that has to do with your, your well-being. It's like something else wants to take over for its own. What happens is, on the one hand, your sense of shame, your sense of conscience, your sense of compunction. Those get shut down, so you can start doing anything. At the same time, your heedfulness also gets shut down. You don't care. You can say many times, okay, you, tomorrow morning you're not going to be happy that you did this, and part of the mind says, I don't care. You have to watch out for that. That is one of the voices inside you, but it's one that you can't listen to. You've got to listen to the voice that says, look, you've got to think about the consequences of your actions now and on into the future, and have some concern and some care about the results that you'll be experiencing. I mean, we've met up with enough suffering in life as it is. Why pour more suffering on top of ourselves? So make sure that you've got heedfulness on the one hand and your sense of shame and compunction on the other. And these things protect you from being taken over. That way when thoughts come bumping into your mind, you can bump back. And say, okay, I know you. I've been here through this before. We don't need to do this again. And just recognize them as defilements is what deprives them a lot of their power. It's when you start thinking that you want to do this or you want to say that. That's when they've taken over. So learn how to question that. You know something is unskillful. Okay, there's there's a consciousness in there, as a John Lee used to say, that doesn't mean you well. But just because it's there doesn't mean you have to follow it. You don't have to take it on. If you find yourself inside a consciousness like that, consciousness like that, you can get out. And being mindful and being alert, this is what we have to strengthen all the time so that we can be on top of things like this. And then we find that there's really nothing to fear. <laughs>